Welcome to Revival Time Hub. The fire shall ever be burning upon the altar. It shall never go out. Lord, let me just speak a few words before we sit. I believe that Pastor Nat made a very profound statement that I just want to press on. There are things being loosed in the spirit and there are things being reordered again in the spirit and you see the way the way of the spirit is such that you may not see wind you may not see rain whilst you are worshiping the holy spirit is doing something to your destiny reordering things releasing things some of you long awaited answers long awaited answers long standing issues in the name of jesus christ you see the way of a spiritual man whilst i sat back there watching pastor nat i literally could see that glow of glory i knew that he was not just playing that this was no longer just ministry it was truly the spirit of prophecy and while he was blowing all i was seeing was doors opening doors opening doors opening doors opening doors opening i'm here to give language to everything he's been blowing in the name of jesus doors open doors open doors of destiny open doors connecting one season to the other open by the spirit of the living god some of you before this conference is over you will hear that certain doors certain iron gates that have insisted on being closed by the power and the mystery of the prophetic that it is open hither and thither in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god in the name of jesus the son of the living god hallelujah i believe that there are people who came here trusting god for restoration you know what it means to restore to restore means to bring back to its original state i don't know who i'm speaking to but in the name that is above all names someone here under the sound of my voice an unction is coming upon you that will command a strange order of restoration a strange order of restoration for someone a restoration of your spiritual fire for someone a restoration of favor you've tasted of the goodness of god but it looked like something and an, an attack from hell just closed that door over you and for a long time you've not seen that dimension of favor but tonight it returns in the name of jesus favor returns the goodness of God returns over your life in the name of Jesus and I'm speaking over someone who has gone through a season of strange attacks the angel appeared unto Joseph and said they that seek the life of this child they were people who sought the life of Jesus in the name that is above all names every attack over your life i come by the spirit of prophecy and i decree and declare before you it will fall like dagon before the earth before you it will fall like dagon before the earth hallelujah now please i want you to listen i want to speak something over your life there are things men cannot do there is a grace i'm trusting god to rest on you now i want you to listen there are supernatural things that when you see it is impossible it's beyond the realm of intellect there are dimensions of the possibilities of the kingdom that is beyond the presence of finances there are certain things that are a signature of god upon the lives of men many of you have really not experienced the help of god the assignment of help is to make things possible than to make things easy. When a man provides help for you, he makes things possible and he makes things easy. I know what it means to be helped by God. 
and i can tell you the man of god pastor nat he's a testament of the help of god there's someone here struggling in life struggling in business you know that this is the strength of the flesh you've stretched your hand you've stretched whatever in the name of jesus let me introduce to you a dimension called ebenezer that there is a god in heaven who can assist men i stand by this unction in the name of jesus where you have struggled by yourself in ministry you have struggled in finances struggled as a pastor let help rest upon you now let help rest upon you now let that grace that can cause a man to be helped marvelously helped of god let it rest upon you now help in ministry receive it help in your finances receive it help in business receive it in the name of jesus christ and uzziah prospered because he was marvelously helped of god helped in ministry helped in worship helped as a businessman helped as a parent some of you are in the uk and it is clear you are alone there is no supernatural assistance around your life you wake up early in the morning and you sleep late at night only to eat the bread of sorrow welcome to your season of strange help in the name of jesus i say to you welcome to your season of strange help help by god help by god that you are an ordinary man but may you experience the help of god in the name of jesus christ yahweh sabaoth yahweh sabaoth Yahweh Sabaoth Come on celebrate prophecy Yahweh Sabaoth 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 Yahweh over your life and over your destiny Hey, 
la mana to parato sabra de bele hallelujah now i like you to find a serious prayer partner and for the next two minutes everything you are tired of that in righteousness must leave your destiny let this be your moment of aggressive prayer prayer with passion prayer with dedicated focus go ahead begin to declare that this mountain before zerubbabel tonight and right now before zerubbabel thou shalt be made plain are there people of prayer in leeds prayer in uk open your mouth and begin to pray unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come every challenge every mountain every giant that stands before you at the shout of grace grace the shout of grace grace it clears the way once and for all someone is praying praying with passion praying with faith he that cometh unto God must believe that he is the rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Someone pray. Someone pray. Someone decree that thou mightest be justified. He said, call unto me and I will answer. I will show you great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Koinonia, pray. Command a new season. Pray. Bring the old season to an end. Pray. Open up new fountains, new possibilities in your life. one more minute you are praying with faith in your heart pray with expectation the lord visited sarah as he had said the lord did unto sarah as he has spoken the lord visited sarah come on your ministry cannot remain the same after this encounter your business should not be the same after this encounter it's a sound of revival it's a stirring from the spirit you have an advantage you have the advantage pray in jesus mighty name we pray in jesus victorious name we pray let me speak over someone's life that these egyptians you see today in the name that is above all names i don't care what they are called financial mountains i call them egyptians shame and reproach i call them egyptians diseases that defy medical attention i call them egyptians and i come in the name of jesus the son of the living god that these egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever 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 in the name of jesus the bible says when the lord turned again the captivity of zion it says we were like them that dream in the name of jesus for someone you will have to pinch yourself and say am i dreaming what is this that is happening to me open door meeting and open door favor meeting favor grace upon grace help upon help in the name of jesus christ hallelujah 
one last prayer and then you are seated father the dimension of grace required for the next level of my spiritual adventure i open up my heart to receive someone pray someone pray possibilities are sponsored by grace i like you to pray and cry the empowerment the engracing that must rest upon your life tonight that defines the next prophetic season in ministry in destiny that defines the next prophetic season go ahead and pray go ahead and cry go ahead and pray yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger the manna came daily 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 yesterday's bread will not satisfy today's hunger cry for a fresh outpouring cry for a fresh anointing a fresh empowerment that responds to the new season the new prophetic season you are stepping into in jesus mighty name we pray i'd like you to be seated but be very sensitive this is our final session together do not lose sight on what god is doing there is a mighty mighty manifestation of god's presence and god's power in this place whilst i give the charge that i'm giving tonight there are awakenings right from the fountains of your spirit for some of you you will be having visions your eyes will be open and you will be having supernatural angelic encounters visions prophetic dimensions will be opening you will be hearing sounds you never heard you will see things that you've never seen before it is what happens when his presence comes here's what i'm hearing in my spirit weep not for the lion of the tribe of judah weep not this is a prophetic word for someone you've had seasons of tears from january till now it's been for you disappointment after disappointment it looks like a door is about to open and then just when you come it closes the prophetic word for you is weep not weep not weep not the lion of the tribe of judah even the root of david is worthy to open the book and unlock the scroll thereof and i speak that weep not in the name of jesus the grace that ends tears ends disappointments let it rest upon you tonight in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm hearing a word that i heard in one of the um conferences i don't know which whether it's us or uk and the picture that is coming with this word uh, the picture of the apostles when they were disciples and they said master we have toiled all night and the word is nevertheless nevertheless apostle have applied for the job again and again nevertheless you didn't apply with this anointing on you that is coming on you now i've done ministry before and it did not work but nevertheless i decree and declare the anointing that makes it nevertheless nevertheless in spite of the economic situation in spite of the fact that you've done it again and again resulting in failure go with this anointing and succeed go with this anointing and excel go with this anointing and defy standards in the name of jesus christ i hope you still believe in the power of prophecy the speakings of the spirit the lord is saying it will not delay in its manifestation it will not delay in its manifestation ah in the name of jesus it will not delay it will come speedily speedily faster than you planned for faster than you thought 
it will not delay in its manifestation by the spirit of grace i speak it over someone's destiny it will not delay in its manifestation in the name of jesus christ the lord is saying i should speak to someone it will come through the hands of strangers this is what i'm hearing it will not come through the hands of anyone you already know it will come through the hands of strangers i'm saying it to whoever has the faith to receive that it will come maybe your job maybe your helper maybe an opportunity for open doors but it will come through the hands of strangers for the bible says strangers will feed your flock i prophesy it upon you men you do not know will schedule seasons of favor by god to your life in the name of jesus i say it again it will not come through the hands of those you already know it will come through the hands of strangers in the name of jesus christ 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 the lord is asking me to avert the spirit of death the, if this is all we do tonight i still consider it a great meeting someone's destiny needs to experience revival in its entirety the spirit of death i don't know who i'm speaking to you see death traces men like a shadow the same way you move and then you see a shadow following you and there are many people who are right now in the valley of the shadow of death when you see a shadow it means the object is nearby the shadow of death anyone here appointed unto death that by the skimmings of hell you should not see the end of 2024 i stand by the voice of prophecy and in the name of jesus i decree and declare you shall not die you shall not die you shall not die you apparatus help them please you shall not die you shall not die in the name of jesus every covenant with the grave every covenant with hades every covenant with the spirit of death we abolish it once and for all in the name of jesus christ hallelujah there are people who are alive but they are bound in chains when he said lazarus come forth the bible says in john 11 that lazarus came forth but the man was bound in grave clothes even though he was alive he was still wearing the garment of death the garment of death can come as the garment of failure everything that cannot give you the liberty to find expression as the living is called the garment of death it's one thing for the dead to come back to life but it's another thing for he who is alive to be loosed and to be let go jesus said to come back from the life from from death was not enough he said lose him lose him lose him can mean give him a job that gives him a decent life lose him can mean let opportunities be scheduled everything that makes that you enjoy the life of god to its fullest let me speak to someone as one sent by god i decree and declare every chain that has held you down held your finances down held your destiny down i speak to you you are loose now you are loose now you are loose now in the name of jesus christ i come tonight in the spirit of moses he said pharaoh thus saith the lord god of the hebrews let my people go that they may go and serve me in the name of jesus every provision that must be made available in this season so that you will serve god effectively and efficiently in the name of jesus may that provision be made available for you made available for you made available for you for you and your children for you and your spouse for you and your church in the name of jesus ezra chapter 6 verse 14 
Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. God wants to finish something he started in someone's life. It says, and the elders of the Jews build it. And they prospered through the prophesying of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they build it and finished it. Let me speak over someone. Everything good that your hand has started in righteousness, I decree and declare by the spirit of prophecy, let the finisher's anointing rest on you. Let the finisher's anointing rest on you. Let the finisher's anointing rest on you. No more abandoned projects in the name of Jesus. Let the finisher's anointing rest on you. By the power of the Holy Spirit, let the finisher's anointing rest on you. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Please be seated and give Jesus a big hand clap. We've been experiencing the mighty hand of God all through this conference. Healings, miracles, supernatural manifestations of the power of God. There is a lady who has a neck pain. You have a very severe neck pain. The power of God is touching you right now. Very severe neck pain. In the name that is above all names, that anointing is resting upon you bringing you life bringing you healing i speak healing in the name of jesus in the name of jesus be healed this moment by the power of the holy spirit in the name of jesus christ if you are trusting god for the fruit of the womb please stand hmm. Hmm. mighty god stand like you are ready to receive don't stand like you are like you are ready to receive i want you to believe do not doubt god is faithful you are standing in for yourself some of you are standing in for others i want to speak by the spirit you see in the atmosphere of the prophetic we are not careless with words i prophesied as i was commanded not as i wished you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. I want you to stand. I want to pray for you now. There is a name that is above every other name. You believe me on that. The Bible says, Wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name that is above every other name. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare over you right now by the power that raised Christ from the dead according to the time of life return with your miracle according to the time of life return with your miracle according to the time of life return with your miracle according to the time of life return i veto every medical report by the investment of the spirit by the mercy of god you have believed therefore i declare return with supernatural testimonies in the name of jesus christ please be seated god bless you you are trusting god for a supernatural job please stand now unto the lamb upon the throne we raise a sound, we raise a sound, for he is God and God alone, hallelujah, hallelujah, now unto the Lamb upon the throne, we raise a sound, we raise a sound over the nations of the earth. Hallelujah! 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 
I decree and declare over the many who are truly trusting God to honor them with the kind of job that allows you the liberty to serve God not the kind of job that brings down your spiritual life I pray for you because you have believed return with strange testimonies I place grace upon your life return with strange testimonies some of you as early as tomorrow let favor come to your doorsteps supernatural surprises by the power of prophecy in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated please be seated please be seated I prayed a prayer in Canada I think it was and I'm stirred in my heart to pray that prayer right now if you have a child that is autistic I want you to stand or you are trusting God for a miracle over an autistic child stand please stand stand with faith stand believing huh Malande salika parato siada. He landa se prake parato siada. He na su brege di balato siada bada. He na parus kapri de malato siada prahasi bada. He lande kapras kubelende prakato siada prahas kabalata parando siada. Shamani kaparato ske balati farasto ya. I grant a paratos kemane kapareto kaparata kataba. Shadegade la kaparantas in a masi balato sevene keparas. Shabi raka porato sabrete gebele kaparantos kiata. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I decree and declare right now over every parent, over every sibling standing on behalf of an autistic child in the name that is above all names we declare healing now we declare healing now we declare perfect soundness perfect coordination in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ Please be seated. I'm not going to ask you to stand on this one, but I want you to receive. I want to pray over people who are in debt, financial situations. You are in a serious financial situation and you know that only God can bring you out of this. Listen, when you hear a prophetic word like this, if it concerns you, know that god is answering your prayer are we together and don't be careless don't be undiscerning don't be like jacob he said the lord was in this place and i knew not hallelujah god is able to help men he's able to turn your mourning to dancing and even your sorrow to joy let me pray for someone who is neck deep in a serious financial situation that while other people were celebrating and dancing and rejoicing you couldn't because the reality the, the situation you're in right now needs a miracle this is beyond creativity you need a miracle first i pray for you in the name of jesus the woman came to the prophet and said they're about to take two of my children my husband is dead i decree and declare by the power that raised christ from the dead may my god i don't know about your god but may my god schedule help us to bail you out schedule help us to bail you out help us ordained by god to bail you out regardless the financial calamity i speak over your life i speak over your destiny this is a sound of revival it includes everything that brings glory to God. Let me speak over someone's finances. Enjoy the help that lady. Enjoy the ministry of help us. Enjoy the ministry of help us. Men and women sent by God 
to help you smile again men and women helped by God to roll away reproach over your life receive of their ministry now in the name of Jesus Christ King of Kings Lord of Lords faithful and true Lamb of God we worship you King of Kings Lord of Lords faithful and true Lamb of God we worship you you're the King of Kings Lord of Lords faithful and true Lamb of God we worship you just a moment before I continue I'm going to ask Pastor Nat to blow that trumpet and this is a prophetic call for those who are called into the ministry of prophetic worship not just singers not just entertainers I sense a strong anointing that Davidic order of the anointing songs I know that a lot of people come from Africa to bless the body of Christ but there are people who must rise from here you must hear that sound too there are some of you it's part of your ordination but the moment you arrived here it looked like everything the passion the grace the discernment mm, there's about to be a resurrection by the Spirit of the Living God you will hear sounds you will receive songs by the Spirit and as he blows that shofar I'm releasing my faith that every talent every gift that is in the grave I'm using worship as a point of contact but I'm stretching it to every gift every investment of the spirit you have that was supposed to be the reason why the nation celebrate you but it's been buried for many years it's about to come back to life there will be a resurrection of giftings and graces and abilities investments of the spirit when he gave one one talent and the man buried it he called him a wicked and unprofitable servant you bury seeds not talents you trade with talents and increase talents you bury seeds not talents so i'm praying this call is particularly to those who are called into the ministry of prophetic psalmistry but I wanted to extend to anyone here. You know you were once gifted there, there. There's a grace of God upon your life. The works of your hands, wisdom. And it looks like everything just died. It's time for it to come back to life. Are you ready to receive now? Yes, sir. Oh, let this be a resurrection. Prophetic psalmist from Leeds, from UK, arise in the name of Jesus. Hear the sounds of the Spirit in the night. Hear the sounds of the Spirit when you wake up. Write songs, songs of power, songs of healing, songs of revival, songs of breakthrough, songs of encounters, songs of Miriam, in the name of Jesus Christ. Let there be that stirring like it happened to David, the anointed of the Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive within your spirit psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Receive within your spirit psalms, hymns, spiritual songs. Psalms, hymns, spiritual songs in the name of Jesus Christ. And I pray for everyone gifted by God, but your talent has been buried, buried by fear, buried by shame, buried by yesterday's disappointments. I decree and declare right now 
that by the power that raised Christ from the dead every investment of the Holy Spirit upon your life that has been buried by fear let it jack back to life now let there be the opening of graves the opening of graves the opening of graves that that which was dead may it come back to life now the opening of graves I decree and declare the opening of ministerial graves financial graves business graves entrepreneurial graces let it rest upon you now every gift of God buried we command that it charge back to life now in the name of Jesus Christ don't be tired of receiving behold the glory of the Lord behold behold the glory of the Lord his strength fills the temple behold the glory of the Lord behold the glory of the Lord can you see the cloud of glory behold the glory of the Lord his strength fills the temple behold the glory of the Lord can you see the glory of the Lord. Behold the glory. Behold the glory of the Lord. The lion and the lamb. Behold the lion and the lamb. Behold the lion and the lamb. Behold the lion and The lion and the lamb. Behold the lion and the lamb. Hallelujah. You know what is happening to you? You're not just shouting amen. You are literally being immersed. There is, there is an immersion that is happening to you that you may not realize it is when you step out of this place before you knock a door it opens and now you are wondering what is opening these doors strangely and mysteriously the value of his presence the value of his glory upon your life the value of his presence make no mistakes about it ladies and gentlemen every investment made to host the presence of God is an advantage to your destiny it's an advantage to your today an advantage to your tomorrow you're surrounded by his glory you look alone but believe me you're surrounded by that glory resting upon you like a hen upon the eggs of a chick waiting for it to hatch hallelujah father in the name of jesus we stand in awe of your wonder walking power in our midst we stand in awe of the things that you have done and the things that you are doing here in leeds here in the united kingdom lord i decree and declare by the power of the holy spirit that in all of this be glorified that you, the attention of your people would not stay on men but that everyone will look unto Jesus the one who is responsible for everything good that is being experienced in this conference we declare be glorified in Jesus mighty name we pray please be seated with joy and gladness hallelujah 
tonight is our final session together God began with us powerfully yesterday discussing the series contending for the faith the intent of this series is to remind us of the things that cause the believer to be a person of stature of power and of kingdom relevance we attempted to answer two questions yesterday number one who is Jesus and number two what is the gospel do well to get those teachings and listen to them seriously and this morning we considered very briefly but powerfully the progression how God builds people to become mighty in the spirit to attain unto a state of maturity and we said how that God introduces them believer and I did say that only a believer who is transformed saved transformed and empowered can be a witness every time you say Lord use me the implication of that statement is that I'm ready to contend for transformation contend for empowerment so that I'm not just available but usable for a final session I want to charge you and our charge tonight is found in Acts chapter 26 from verse 18 Acts 26 most believers do not understand God's goal and God's mandate for our lives and our destiny church has become a boring experience because most believers do not know how to apply the things that they learn they do not know that when god builds when god trains when god equips he intends to deploy the believer as a witness to serve his purposes and because most believers do not understand this part of god's plan this part of god's goal they become saved they become transformed they fall down under the anointing and stand for many years in church and not knowing what to do with all these spiritual investments upon them i want to help someone understand tonight that god has a goal for you there is a corporate mandate upon every believer now as individuals we have our personal ambitions as individual we have our areas of strength our areas of pursuit some have a desire to press towards the area of education Others have the desire to press into business. Others have a desire to press into ministry, as we call it. Others have a desire to press into various fields of endeavor. And God gives man the liberty to explore his creativity that far. But there is a corporate mandate that is upon all believers. That the moment you come into Christ, among the many um orientations that you must receive it has to include this that god eventually as you walk with god he is going to place a demand listen carefully he is going to eventually place a demand upon your life and that you must be prepared to fulfill that mandate and that demand so acts chapter 26 and verse 18 just one scripture and then we'll go to the book of john to open their eyes, Paul is speaking now, and to turn them from darkness to light and from the power of Satan unto God that they may receive forgiveness of sins and the inheritance among them which are sanctified by faith that is in me. Paul is reciting his mandate before King Agrippa. He is revealing to them his encounter, the basis for his moving around and preaching the gospel. And he said, this was the heavenly calling I received. 
and he said when i heard this i was not negligent to the heavenly calling i was not negligent to the heavenly calling every believer must understand that there is a corporate mandate there is a corporate mandate on all believers regardless the specific area of passion regardless your area of ambition and pursuit it is important that we understand that there is a corporate mandate john chapter 1 from verse 6 the bible says give it to us please john 1 6 there was a man there was a man and for us right now we would not say there was a man we would say there are men so this business is done through the hands of men there was a man sent from god whose name was john verse 7 the bible says the same came for a witness verse 7 the same came for a witness to bear witness to the light that through his witness give us verse 7 please all men might believe the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him through the efficiency of that witness might believe ladies and gentlemen this statement as simple as it's written here represents the corporate mandate of all believers whether you tell me you're a businessman whether you tell me you're a family man whether you tell me you're an architect you're an engineer whether you tell me you're a media person you're a consultant you're working with a multinational regardless your personal pursuit you must have this at the back of your mind that god wants to use your life to fulfill this mandate that at the end of your life it can be said like it was said of john there was a man sent sent from god his name was whatever your name now is and that the same came for a witness to bear witness of the light that through his witness all men might believe hallelujah so that we have a corporate mandate is an orientation that every matured believer must have in Acts chapter 1 and verse 8, the Bible says, Ye shall receive power. Jesus is speaking. After that the Holy Ghost is come upon you, and you shall be witnesses unto me in Jerusalem, in all Judea, in Samaria. Then it says, To the uttermost part of the earth. The uttermost part of the earth. Now please listen very carefully. Our mandate is to reveal Jesus like I say, and to glorify him it's just koinonia's way of coining out the mandate so that you are able to receive and believe but i want you to know that the concept of jesus revealed and jesus glorified is beyond the koinonia mandate it is the creed of every believer in christ are we together that if you were asked why do you exist right now you will twist it and communicate it in various ways others will say i live to worship god others will say i live to bring him glory others will say i live to glorify him or to reveal him various expressions but the same thought the bible says in galatians 1 24 it says and they glorified god in me very profound scripture God can be glorified in a man. God can be glorified through the efficiency of a man's witness. And let me tell you this, ladies and gentlemen, I have prayed for you, I've spoken over your life, and I will still speak over you. But there is a level of satisfaction you can never find in life until your life directly answers this kingdom come question until your life directly responds to this kingdom come mandate this mandate to see jesus glorified this mandate to see jesus revealed this mandate to allow your life to pour like a river to the nations bringing glory to the name of the lord there are many successful believers who are still wondering why they are unable to find satisfaction and fulfillment and i'm teaching you tonight that the missing link is that if your life is not directly serving the purposes of god there is a limit to the kind of satisfaction that you can derive now some try to replace that hunger with things 
they try to replace that hunger with ambition they try to replace that hunger with you know friends things some get into addiction they try to replace that hunger with all kinds of things but i want you to know tonight that no one can truly find satisfaction there is a dimension of fulfillment and satisfaction that is only derived when you wake up in the morning knowing that your life is an active contributor to kingdom come when you wake up in the morning knowing that your life is a reason why god is pleased that jesus is smiling from heaven because you went to bed and you woke up your waking up becomes an advantage to kingdom come an advantage to kingdom advance you would be amazed at how many people how many believers they love god or at least they claim they do they are good church goers and so on and so forth but their god has not derived profit from them as an investment when you invest your money in stocks or any other investment you expect returns are we together and after a while you go to demand to find out what progress it's been made and when they tell you that your money has grown by two percent three percent four percent you begin to rejoice because now you're waiting by investing that money and leaving it there even though you need the money now profit is coming and it consoles you do you know that you are god in god's investment and that occasionally he comes to check your life and for many he does not find himself being glorified in and through your life this message is a call a call tonight that you are not just born again to be transformed to be empowered live your life the way you want and then die someday or die one day and then go to meet the lord in heaven it's not an accurate orientation of the believer's work you have to understand that god has a corporate mandate for all believers and that mandate listen carefully is that your life eventually becomes a drink offering that is poured out to bring healing to bring hope to represent jesus to reveal him and then to glorify him you cannot glorify jesus if it's not revealed he has to be revealed and then he's glorified this has become a creed i run my life literally on this mentality when i wake up in the morning i rejoice not just because i'm awake i wake up in the morning rejoicing because i know that at the end of that day like an incense of worship like an incense of honor something will rise from my life as profit for all the spiritual investments that god has made upon my life that at the end of that day i can present a soul to jesus profit over your investment in my life a destiny healed a destiny transformed for everyone who gets to listen to my teachings, for instance, the transformation that happens to them, I rejoice. I rejoice at the testimonies. It's a privilege to be used by God to produce those testimonies. But I am happy because God gets glory from his investment called Joshua Selman. There are many of you, I hate to sound harsh, forgive me in advance, but you are bad investments for God. He's not gotten any profit whatsoever from your life. No souls saved. No participation in any kingdom activity. No life can say I was changed thanks to this brother, thanks to this sister. Is someone learning? So we have a corporate mandate to invest our lives and our days serving the purposes of the kingdom. To allow the fullness of the life, the culture, the grace of God through our lives like a fragrance that it moves from Leeds to UK to America to Canada to Africa that everyone can drink of that river that flows from you as a spiritual investment. For others, it can happen through the platform of ministry. For others, through your finances. For others, through your creativity. It doesn't matter in what expression. You must make up your mind that I reject being a bad investment. 
I reject it. My life will not be a minus. My life cannot be a minus. That every morning when I wake up, heaven will rejoice. An ambassador has woken up. A witness has woken up. An opportunity for a soul to be saved. An opportunity for a life to be changed. An opportunity for a destiny to be transformed. Now, please look up. I hope you know that god's expectation for us is defined he does not leave us at liberty to just do anything we feel there is a bar there is a standard of impact if your life does not make god does not derive maximum glory so don't tell me i'm doing something apostle at least i'm making someone smile that is wonderful that is human but for many of us it is far short of god's expectation god cannot invest this dimension of glory wisdom power grace only to just make one person smile and that's it i congratulate you for starting but you must step up that bar that my life must bring maximum in maximum profit maximum profit that you will do much john chapter 15 and verse 16. the bible says you have not chosen me but i have chosen you and ordained you that you should go and bring go and bring not go and remain if you go and remain you are a prodigal son go and bring and to bring forth fruit and that your fruit should abide it should last he sends you to go and bring forth fruit fruits of souls fruits of transformed lives fruits of changed destinies that someone can say because you are alive i came to know jesus because you are alive i got a job and because i now have a job for me and my family we can now love and serve the lord i reject being a bad investment that the master will look from heaven and say joshua selman you are a great investment to the kingdom and it's not because i'm a preacher you don't have to be a preacher to be a good investment you have to be a believer who has this consciousness that god desires profit from my life he's made an honest investment he's lavishly given his son he's given you the word he's given you the holy spirit he's given you angelic assistance and that at the end of all of these things he desires profit someone say my life please shout it say my life will bring profit for the kingdom say it again say my life will bring profit for the kingdom one last time say my life will bring profit for the kingdom whatever you want to say lord you can say through me whatever you want to do lord you can do through me whoever you want to lift lord you can lift through me whoever you want to bless Lord, you can bless me. That must become your prayer whilst you're listening to me right now. I desire to bring blessings to my world. I desire to bring profits to his majesty. When he gave one five talent, when he gave the other two, and the final person one, he returned back and said, show me, what did you do with the five? with five i made five he said well done thou good and faithful servant to the one who had two what did you do with two i made two more congratulations and he came to the person who had one and he said i know you are a hard man you like to reap where you did not sow i buried your talent and he said you are a wicked and unprofitable servant god demands 
demands profit from my life god demands profit from your life do not waste the investment of the blood of jesus do not waste the investment of the holy spirit you are not just praying in tongues for nothing you're not just falling under the anointing for nothing are we together you're not just shouting amen for nothing the investment of prophecy prayer the word all of these resources are supposed to empower you like an investment well fortified to bring profit to his majesty he desires profit he wants profit you are god's investment he desires profit he wants profit from your life you are god's investment so we have a mandate beyond our personal ambitions beyond our personal desires to succeed by every definition of success that we can find i want everyone here to leave this conference knowing that god desires profit from your life and i'm going to guide you to show you how to bring profit to the kingdom there is a way you can live your life that will never bring profit to the kingdom but there is a way you can live your life such that you bring maximum profit to his majesty it is my desire that one day when our lives on earth when my life on earth is over if christ tarries that when i stand before jesus he would look at me with a smile on his face and say well done he will not call me apostle joshua selman he will say my son well done for the times you would have slept but you stood awake preaching the gospel for the times you would have done something with your resources but you channeled it for my name's sake is it not in your bible god is a rewarder a day will come he will reward men there are many of us who will stand empty and ashamed because we lived our lives only for ourselves. You received the prophecy for yourself. You went to church for yourself. You shouted amen for yourself. You fell under the anointing for yourself. You prayed and fasted for yourself. When your life is still at the realm of self, you are not a witness. At the point you become a witness, is the point you die to self that you now live unto christ my entire life being poured as a drink offering doesn't mean you will not fulfill your own goals but that your highest priority will no longer just be buying a car your highest priority will no longer just be getting a great house it is amazing what believers put as their highest pursuit if i ask many people right now what what is your highest pursuit someone will say i want to make a million pounds 10 million pounds i want to be as rich as who now richard branson okay why well i think i i just like the idea of being rich it's better than being poor it is amazing the various reasons why we pray and fast look at me let me give you a secret to prayer that i found in scripture and through my own life your prayer will seldom receive answers if it is not connected to kingdom come let me tell you what that means the way you move the hand of god to your advantage is by letting him see how that answer advances his purposes are we together lord i want a child heaven will say why because other women have children and i'm tired of shame sorry that's not how it works in the kingdom now you try it this way i desire a child so that by the grace of god i will raise a godly seed who will serve your purposes now you are speaking god's language i will show you why many believers do not receive breakthroughs in their lives they shout amen and they return back and nothing seems to happen no doors open lord give me a million pounds you you know you are god you can do everything give me a million pounds and god says why uh, i prized the house the other time and they told me if i have um five hundred thousand i can have okay why I just want a good life for myself and my children very sincere but there is no kingdom represented in that pursuit father give me a million pounds in all fairness i desire to live a comfortable life 
but that by this blessing you grant me the privilege to be able to support the work of the kingdom that souls be saved through the resources that come from my hands ah music to the ears of the father he will say what did you say did you mention kingdom did you mention souls and god is able to make all grace abound towards you wisdom comes to you relationships come to you strategic connections begin to come i will tell you why it looks like certain people pray once and it's like heaven is in a rush to answer because they are dead to self everything they ask has the revelation and the glorification of jesus as the ultimate goal is someone learning tonight I desire to graduate with distinction and God says okay so how does the kingdom benefit from this that you have father when I graduate with distinction it will give me an edge to be able to function in a field where I have a voice and with that voice and with that influence I will let men see you through my life now that is a deal that no power in hell can work against most people do not know how to work with God you don't walk with God by crying out like a baby God, give me this, give me tea, give me bread, answer my prayer. You are father, I am child. Most believers are driven by self. Their entire destiny is about themselves. There's nothing that reveals Jesus. There's nothing that brings him glory. There is no kingdom come represented in their pursuits. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor, I just want to say thank you. You get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor, I just want to say thank you. Lord, you get the glory, you get the praise. You take the honor. I just want to say thank you. So in my life, be glorified. Be glorified in my life. Be glorified. Be glorified. The praise you get the praise you take the honor place your hand on your chest and sing it you get the glory you get the praise you get the praise you take the honor I submit to you honestly dear people of God I have no business being part of anything any venture any pursuit if i cannot find within it how jesus will be revealed are we together some of you are part of everything without verifying whether it reveals jesus or not everything if you ever want to get my attention on anything you have to show me not just how i will benefit from it let me see how the kingdom benefits now you are speaking my language are we together it is the reason why many people do not see the hand of god in their lives gifted skilled but it looks like god is not able to scale them to give them the kind of influence that serves his purposes and i'm telling you the reason is because god has failed to get profit from their life he's failed to get profit from their life and that any addition he brings to their life becomes a disadvantage to the kingdom do you know that there are people whose rising um, or whose limitation is not caused by demons it is literally the hand of God stopping their rising not to destroy them but they have been they have been um, vetted by the wisdom of God and God has seen in his wisdom 
that if this man becomes richer than he is if this man becomes greater than he is he will become a casualty to the kingdom and so god will rather peg your growth until you understand the purpose for increase then he opens the door listen carefully not every closed door is demonic there are many closed doors that are signs of god's mercy to you because if that door were to open with your current orientation you become a disaster to yourself and to everyone who believes you now i say this with all humility you know sometimes when we see conferences like this very large conferences global conferences like this there are people who look sometimes across the globe perhaps someone watching and you're looking at all this in admiration and sometimes people sincerely desire to be in these kinds of positions god is saying i am willing to give it to you but will you bring profits to my kingdom there are some of you in all honesty and i don't mean to sound arrogant forgive me but if you have the opportunity to stand here and enjoy certain levels of influence that becomes the beginning of your downfall you won't even pray again you won't fast again you won't love jesus again now i'm a celebrity global everybody knows me everybody loves me everybody wants to sing my songs everybody wants to listen to my messages and then we forget about the god of the bible the bargain that brings profit is that god gives and you reveal him through the things that he gives it's a very fair bargain that if you are ready to hide behind the cross take the stage Lord have your way I'm just a vessel nothing more when you're done please take the glory I'm satisfied just to see you glorified be lifted high be lifted high oh Lord be lifted high for you are holy second chronicles 26 5 i think it is we're going to find somewhere to pray i'd like you to read it can you see it is it projected let's read together one two go and he sought god in the days of zechariah who had understanding in the visions of god the last sentence as loud as you can one to go One more time. As long, that's the condition. As long as he sought the Lord. As long as he sought the Lord. That the millions and the billions I cry that you bring to my life. Is that I will serve your purposes with it. And God says this bargain is profitable to both you and the kingdom. Let the gates be opened. I'm trusting you for a superior prophetic anointing. I want to speak his purposes to the kingdom. What do you do with the godlike worship that men begin to accord you when that prophetic grace gets to a level that men can almost worship you? That's when you see the old man resurrect again, desiring to receive that human worship. There are many of you here who are called by God. But I'm telling you sincerely, the reason why the doors of ministry beyond a certain level would not be given to you, the keys will not be given to you, is because there is still corruption in your heart. God knows you are a risk when you increase. Hmm. A risk when you increase. In my, a bit of my work with God, and I'm saying this based on the experience that I've had with God, 
There are times I have prayed myself for many people in my secret place, quite honestly. And I have asked God to bless them, to lift them in business, some in ministry. And it's been like heaven was silent over their lives. And I'm saying, Lord, help this brother, help this sister, open up doors for them. And later on, I would learn that when God finds out that a man's growth becomes a risk, he will keep you where you are as an act of his mercy. Then send you a word that changes your mindset. Then the doors open. Are we together? So there are some of you, what you call captivity is not a demonic thing. God decided to mark you in one place. He's saying, brother, if I give you this healing anointing with this kind of pride you have, you will destroy my program. You will mentor young people who will not be reflections of my glory. So stay. I will not open doors of ministerial invitations until I prune you, until I purge you. And then as you submit to the dealings of the Spirit, the doors open. There are wonderful people who have songs around the world. When they see men like Pastor Nathaniel Bassi, they desire, I have a song. And sometimes they say, look, my song is so nice, so melodious. I mean, why is everybody not singing my song? And sometimes they take an honest step to say, you know what? Let me find out how to promote my song. And they do everything possible. And it looks like an invisible hand is stopping that song from moving far. I will tell you what is wrong. It is not always demonic. His majesty has tried you in a balance and you've been found wanting. So he keeps you at that position and says, if I bring increase, you become a risk to the kingdom. Do you know why? Because your rising will force other believers to mentor even your error. So he keeps you down. He's looking for a purified bride. He's looking for a vessel that becomes an accurate representation. Are we together now? Let me tell you what God is doing in this end time. God is pruning and building models. In as much as we are all humans, let me tell you in Christ, you can attain onto a level of maturity and standard that your life becomes worthy of emulation globally. Believe that. While it is good to admit that we are humans, don't pamper the flesh so much that you make it look like, no, you, you cannot attain, we are all human. Jesus was human, but he attained a standard. You need to believe that you can become God's portrait of a financial apostle without compromise. You can become God's portrait of ministry with integrity, void of manipulation, yet with power and result. You can become a portrait. Don't pamper your humanity. This is why he supplies grace from heaven. Let me tell you the truth. Beyond your personal prayer and your desire, these are the kinds of men in this end time that God will handpick by himself. Before Jesus returns, you will see an emergence of supposedly nobodies, ordinary people, and the way they will be so elevated, you will wonder, it will be so fast. For some in a matter of months, they will gain global visibility, and you will think they just came. They didn't just appear. For many years, they were in the school of the spirit being pruned. There are many prophetic psalmists who will rise. And as they command such power, their lives will be garnished with such humility and a desire to glorify Jesus. You will see the active the pressure that they mount on self to die. I give you an honest advice. Pride kills. I give you an honest advice. Pride destroys. Now, as humans, we always like being celebrities. You see that? We like to be celebrated, the spotlight, and God wants to lift us to a point of influence and notoriety. It's in our corporate destiny. It's a high calling. No believer has a low calling. However, God must walk upon your heart. I cannot end this conference without challenging you to know that the missing link between where you are and the prophetic destiny you desire it may not just be clearing demons out of the way the spirits can leave 
and yet you will not move forward because there is an intrinsic corruption within your heart waiting for an opportunity to manifest there are people today if god is to trust you with ten thousand pounds hundred thousand pounds a million pounds five million pounds you won't go to church again you won't pray again what for you won't fast again you won't love jesus again and anytime you feel guilty you just throw something little to charity and say god you're watching me no sir we're talking of people who are dead to self i'm painting for you the portrait of the kind of believer god expects the one who he will elevate by himself i can tell you this i have studied the principles of influence by the grace of god my conclusion is that there is a gap in that equation of influence that only God can complete you can do everything right to be known you can do everything right to be heard you can do everything right to be received and yet a generation will reject you there are principles of excellence wonderful practice them principles of competence wonderful practice them principles of value and productivity a transformed mind there are times that all the indices will be just right and yet you will never rise to a point of influence and notoriety the missing link is your heart not your brain your brain is fine but your heart is wrong is someone learning so i hope tonight that i'm speaking to a people who will not just receive the fire and be excited we came for sound of revival was a great encounter imagine the things that jesus did and um, i've stepped into a new level let me tell you and then you rejoice and go back fueling the flesh fueling self and by the end of this year 2024 god cannot tell the profit he's gotten from your life nothing changed as far as kingdom come is concerned your neighborhood did not know jesus nobody came to know jesus no one was healed no one was blessed no one was lifted no one had access to truth no destiny was changed it's called existence not living you only live to the degree to which your life gives life did you hear what i said you only live to the degree to which your life gives life not the degree to which you breathe in oxygen and breathe out carbon dioxide i don't mean to insult you my apologies but many people are existing not living we live by the degree of kingdom impact we make not just the things we have not just the things we acquire let me submit to you that god desires you to prosper more than you will ever desire to prosper god desires your prayer answered more than you will ever desire your prayer answered god desire you desires you lifted more than you will ever desire to be lifted the missing link is can he find glory through your life this is our mandate that jesus will be revealed that Jesus will be glorified as a businessman as you turn profit after profit after profit after profit it doesn't change your heart and then the kingdom is greatly advanced and enhanced that you get to a point where when sound of revival is about to happen single-handedly as an individual you can literally write the check and say you don't even need to tell anybody just just Glorify the Lord that he's found a vessel worthy enough. I believe someone here will step into that reality. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is almost embarrassing that the church has to deal with a lot of issues today that are largely fueled. It looks like God is incapable of producing glorious sons and daughters. It is not so. All of the manipulations we have suffered around church, unfortunately, I can tell you it is because men have not gotten to a point where they have died to self. And so they are unable to taste of certain levels of God's glory. It's the reason why we try, we labor, and it never works. The Lord told me many years ago, he said, son, if you will let men see me, there is nothing I will not give you. If you will let men see me, if you will hide behind the cross and let men see me not a celebrity not a man of god 
not a great apostle joshua selman thank god for all the honor that you are called grateful for them but we are here to project jesus as the living christ and let me tell you this let me challenge especially younger ministers who are rising if you find any trace of pride around your neighborhood go on a retreat fast else you will not last for reasons you will not be able to explain it will not be the absence of talent it will not be absence of gift it will not be absence of opportunity it will be the hand of god pegging you so you do not become a casualty to his end time program there are young men and women who will rise from this conference and in a matter of months you will see doors of businesses open doors of opportunities that some of you will be commanding wealth that is for cities as an, a single entity and the reason is because your yieldedness has made you to be named God's treasurer for a generation that God has found that you have so died to self it doesn't matter the billions and the millions he gives hmm. There are some of you who will receive anointings anointings that will make you look like god in human flesh and just when men want to worship you you say no i was trained well <laughs> i was trained well this one is not for me this one is for he who died and rose again when men want to worship you and say you are this you are that you tell them no i've been greatly helped by god but there is only one who deserves that praise and that honor who is learning tonight for some of you god is telling you he's really diagnosing because you've gone for every kind of prayer and things have not changed the anointing does not fight god the anointing fights satan and if god is the one stopping you no amount of prayer except the prayer of mercy will bail you out most of our resistances are not coming from satan is coming from the corruption that is in our heart i don't mean to trivialize your pain but let me tell you the truth my dear people at the risk of sounding arrogant it is not so difficult for god to lift a man in the united kingdom i apologize if it sounds like i'm being arrogant but i know god a bit and i know what happens when god vows to lift a man when god has made up his mind to lift a man he will take you from anywhere to anywhere my life is a testimony the call tonight beyond binding devils the call tonight beyond casting away curses the call tonight beyond speaking the ill wishes of people away from your life the power and the arsenals of darkness does not have an effect on you when your heart becomes true and right with God Satan will always look for something in you that looks like him that becomes a connecting point to your destruction you have my everything you have my everything you have my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything use all of me all of me lord you have my everything listen anoint my everything use my everything i release my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything prune my everything build my everything i give my everything receive my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything the shortest formula for success i know is surrender 
the shortest formula to success i know is surrender i believe in value I believe in competence i believe in excellence i believe in capacity i believe in principles i believe in a superior belief system i believe in strategic relationships i believe in diligence and patience and all of these factors but the shortest distance between you and a glorious tomorrow is surrender that means if you do not know any principle that makes for a great life begin by practicing surrender when you die to yourself, it's equivalent to the practice of many other principles. The shortest distance between you and glory is death. You and glory <laughs> is death. Is someone learning? Koinonia is quiet. This is my take-home souvenir. That you don't just take home the shouts of miracles. We'll do that after now. But it's important for you to know that if things are not working in my life and I've prayed, I've casted out demons, I've bound everything to be bound, I've, I've loosed everything and my life is not changing. Stop talking about the, the devil. Go to God. Walk upon my heart. Something is wrong. I told you that the anointing cannot fight God. The anointing does not fight everything, anything that is pro-God. It could be that the reason why you are unable to rise and step into the next season of your prophetic destiny is because God has found a cancer of corruption within your heart and it does not want it to spread. So he pegs you there. And let me tell you something with God. He can peg you for as long as your rebellion remains until the day you die. The Bible says, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. In the year that my pride died, I saw the Lord. In the year that my prayerlessness died, I saw the Lord. Man of God, it is true that you have a great prophetic destiny. But this template, this orientation about ministry will not take you there. Great businessman. God wants to trust you with wealth and influence, but not in this state. We are going to pray one prayer before I speak over your life. This is our final session. It's called a sound of revival. Let me tell you the truth. Many vessels have disappointed God, not because of the devil, because they have refused to allow him to walk upon the corruption in their heart. Satan is as powerful as the corruption he finds in your heart. Did you hear what I said? Satan is as powerful as the corruption he finds in your heart. When your heart is pure and sincere towards God, determined to see him glorified, Satan will stand helpless and powerless while he watches you advance the purposes of God. I know this by experience. Satan is as powerful as the corruption he finds in your heart. Satan can be as powerful against your ministry as the, as the corruption he finds there. Against your business, against your rising. When he finds something that looks like him, it becomes the reason why you remain. The dominion of Satan is in partnership with the corruption that is in the hearts of men. So when you cry that God will purify your heart, purge your motif, rid you of pride, and everything that will not allow him to be glorified in your life, then you are ready to see him lifted in your life. We honor you. We honor you. We honor you, Lord. We honor you. We honor you we honor can you make this a declaration a song of surrender we honor you we honor you we honor you lord we honor you we honor you we honor
we're about to pray but listen to this you cannot fake yieldedness one day it will be revealed that you truly do not love the lord did you hear what i said you cannot fake yieldedness there are many things you can fake yieldedness and genuine surrender is not one of them you can pretend that you are surrendered one day it will become evident maybe not soon maybe not immediately allow time it will become clear through your life that you really do not love the lord it will become clear through your life that your purpose for ministry is not to glorify god it will become clear through your life that even though you shout amen the truth is that that hunger that drive that passion i want to hand someone a key tonight as we part ways for now the key is not a miracle you got that already the key is not a prophetic declaration i've done that generously and i will yet speak over your life as we wrap up but the real key that i want you to give to give you tonight as a gift from god is the sincerity of your yieldedness try this and return with unending testimonies go back after this conference close every book that is full of prayer requests and just sing this song i honor you 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 lord we honor you lord We honor you, Lord. We I'm going to ask you to do something in the next two minutes if you can if you can't that's fine but for me I'm going to go down my knees in one minute and rededicate my life again it's a covenant of surrender it's a covenant of honor this is not a passion to be a celebrity no it's a desperate cry from a willing heart don't be carried away by the cameras and everything this is between you and your maker it's a sound of revival every genuine revival please don't hurt yourself if you're not able to kneel that's fine but i want you to take two minutes to cry before your maker don't look at me don't look at your neighbor don't look at the camera look at jesus you can't go on your knees go ahead Sing be glorified, be glorified, be glorified, hallelujah, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified. One last time. Be glorified. Be glorified. Be glorified. Hallelujah. Be glorified. Take a minute and cry out your heart. 
father your lifting me will not be a risk to your kingdom your prospering me will not be a risk to your kingdom your anointing me will not be a risk to your kingdom i will never get to a point in my life where my knees become far from the ground this is the posture you found me at that caused you to lift me to the nations someone is praying repent of pride repent of flesh repent of carnality let it be from the depth of your heart be glorified be glorified hallelujah go ahead and talk to the lord everyone don't be ashamed of your tears i know you are a great man of god i do not doubt your anointing not the efficacy of your ministry but there is still more god wants to measure a thousand cubits take a minute to cry it's a sound of revival oh let your lifting me not be a risk to the kingdom let your opening greater doors not be a risk to the kingdom businessman pray that when god honors your projects it will not be a risk to the kingdom take joy my king in what you hear let it be a sweet sweet sound in your ears take joy my king in what you hear let it be a sweet sweet sound father as a global family and as your people within this city of Leeds the UK airing across the globe we vow with our lives that your lifting us will not be a disappointment to the kingdom that your blessing us will not be a risk to kingdom come we pledge afresh with our lives that we will live for you we pledge afresh with our lives that we will love you like never before we pledge afresh with our lives that we will serve your purposes for the rest of our lives and lord we pray that where we have become distracted with success where we have this be distracted i'm sorry lord for the thing i made it when it's all about you it's all about you jesus on my knees i pray for everyone under the sound of my voice kneeling sitting standing crying smiling speaking to jesus or just in the silence all by yourself i pray for you sincerely that the inner workings of the spirit that prunes and purges men bringing out purified gold from their lives that causes men to serve the purposes of the kingdom in truth that they do not become casualties to the kingdom as they rise i pray for you from the depth of my heart may the holy spirit complete that work in you that work of circumcision that work of pruning that work of building that work of making may it be your lot tonight in the name of jesus christ you will experience the holy spirit like fire you will experience the holy spirit like rain he will purify he will cleanse until you become that bride that can serve his purposes to the nations in jesus name we pray amen god bless you please be upstanding everybody please be upstanding everybody please be upstanding everybody we're going to do two things now to wrap up this session number one I'm going to make one final altar call and then when I make that final altar call we'll take the remaining five minutes to do a very strong impartation we have to end this meeting by allowing you to access the various graces 
that are for your taking. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, here is my altar call. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Keep coming. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the answer for the world today. Above him there's no other. Jesus is the way. Do I still need to ask you to come? Not after this cry. I want you to leave your seat and come quickly. Come to him. Your lover, Jesus. The King of Kings. The Rose of Sharon. Pastor Nat, let me request you do for us your beautiful song. Someone's knocking at your door. Keep coming. Everyone. Someone's knocking at the door. Can you hear him knocking? Come to Jesus. He's been knocking very long. Let's celebrate them as they come. Please come. Come to Jesus. On this final night. He's been knocking for so long. And for those of you who are following by way of internet. Here is an opportunity to make it right with Jesus once and for all. Oh, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is at the door. Come to Jesus. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Come. Come. Young and old. Come. Someone's calling now. For tonight we will wait for you. I know you are still coming. Hurry and come. Run to the cross. Run to Jesus. Can you hear him calling you? Yeshua is calling you. He's been calling for so long. He's been calling very long. Can you hear him calling you? This Jesus is calling. Is at the door. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Is at the door. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap for this harvest. I said it in Canada and let me repeat it again. Someday very soon we will stand before the king of kings and the lord of lords and our joy is that these precious ones will be added when we stand before jesus we will not be alone hallelujah and some of them will look at us and say thank you thank you pastor nat thank you joshua selman thank you koinonia uk thank you sound of revival it was at that conference I made it right with Jesus. Let me honestly, with all due respect, encourage everyone here who is a co-laborer in ministry. If you are not winning souls, 
you are not doing much for the kingdom it doesn't matter what else you do if you are not actively winning souls and soul winning is a business of numbers what gives credence to every other thing you do in ministry is that you prioritize the salvation of souls if you are not winning souls you are not doing much hallelujah if you teach people financial principles that is excellent but make sure the people who have that money are saved if you teach people principles of family life that is excellent but make sure that the people who have good homes are saved if you teach people principles of the prophetic gifts of the spirit it's wonderful but make sure those who have and manifest those things are saved themselves and have their family members saved for as long as i live it becomes my priority to see that for every day for every time and every other time god gives me for as long as there is breath in my nostrils i will draw many to jesus by showing them that he loves them ladies and gentlemen please look at me i want to salute every single one of you i look at you from that end to that end some of you are crying thank you some of you are standing in awe this is Jesus for you beyond men we have come to project Jesus and listen to me ladies and gentlemen you have trusted other things of lesser value don't try Jesus trust him trust him he won't fail you trust him I understand that church has failed you I understand that sometimes we men of God have failed with our prejudices and biases don't give Jesus a chance give him all everything I'm going to ask you to lift your right hand brothers and sisters and those who are following our family in Zaria is connecting all other expressions everywhere make sure that you need to make it right with Jesus this is your opportunity right now tomorrow might be too late the Bible says today not tomorrow not next week if you hear his voice do not harden your heart this is our final session together and I want you to know that Jesus loves you say this after me ladies and gentlemen with hands lifted Lord Jesus say it again truthfully Lord Jesus tonight I have heard your word I have seen your power I declare that I love you with all my heart I declare that I need you in my life I declare that I believe you are the Son of God I believe that you died for my sin I believe that you rose again for my justification right now I receive Jesus into my heart as my Savior my lord and my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god from tonight i go forward ever and backward never in jesus name we pray Amen and 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 amen. Now, just a little announcement. You look to your left, you look to your right, you would see counselors waving the placard. Please hand me this so that I show them. You would be handed um, something like this, just a little souvenir. Please take it with love from us. It is to help and enhance your spiritual growth from this moment. So I'm going to request number one. Hello, darling. How are you? She's waving her hands. I've been seeing her wave her hands again and again. How are you? Hi. Right, so. Praise God. Um, for those who, I'm sure that you'll be split in half, this side, that way. And you have a word with the counselors. It will be very brief. It will be very quick. 
and then you'll be back to receive the impartation. Make sure that your heart is open. The next five minutes is going to be a time of receiving prophetically right now. And so I'd like for your heart to be opened. Thank you for making this noble decision. I love you with all my heart. And I want you to know that this is the beginning of a new season. Let me request from here that you please move to my left. That will be your right. There are counselors to receive you. And then from here, you move to my right and that's your left. Let's honor them as they go, everyone. Hallelujah. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever, till my raptured soul shall find rest beyond the river. We used to sing it back then in the seminary. In the cross, in the cross, be my glory ever till my rapture soul shall find rest beyond the river. If you can, please stand. This is our final moment together. I'm about to pray certain graces upon your life. Impartation and the empowerment that comes from it is very potent to those who have the discernment to receive it it transfers to your life the possibilities of the spirit when god calls us when he sends us he sends us not just with a message he sends us with engracings for the purpose of several destinies if not all destinies here represented and the many who are connected online I still marvel till date at the wonder working power of impartation that an individual right where he is or she is can receive by faith and there literally can be a transference of graces and they begin to walk in those graces hallelujah i'm going to speak over your life and it's at this point that i like to do this very much with my dear friend and brother pastor nat that trumpet that sounding of the shofar there is a sound that you hear from it so we're going to be doing this together i'm going to be speaking over your life and then with the blast of the trumpet you will receive with all your heart believing by faith that certain things that were impossibilities before this conference that after this conference you will walk back and you will see things happening at a frequency that is only divine are you ready to receive praise the name of the lord I have seen Jesus by the privilege of God's grace. I have been opened to the realm of visions and the prophetic by the grace of God. I have had supernatural encounters of all sorts by the mercy of God. It's a reality that I live in. But I have also received graces from vessels, vessels of honor. And regardless my encounters, there were dimensions that were not at work in my life until God brought vessels, them that sell, men who are custodians of the mysteries of the kingdom. And with humility, I received with all my heart and it's helped to make us the mold that we are today serving his purposes. And so regardless the level you are in in the spirit, there is always room to receive more. There are higher dimensions of grace higher dimensions of wisdom hallelujah we're about to receive now let your power holy ghost power rest on me rest on me let your power holy ghost power rest on me rest on me let your power holy ghost power Rest on me, rest on me. Oh, oh, rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Oh, 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 rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit. 
spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me let your spirit spirit of wisdom rest on me rest on me The first impartation that you are going to be receiving right now is the spirit of wisdom. There is such a grace as the spirit of wisdom. When it comes upon you, it is responsible for mighty works. Mighty works. Ordinary men doing mighty works. I'm going to ask Pastor Nat to blow that trumpet. And as he blows that shofar, I'm going to release that grace upon you. And wherever you are, I want you to open up your spirit and receive it as an impartation. You will begin to walk in strange dimensions of efficiency in your life and your organization. Caught to see this impartation. Yes, sir. <laughs> Right now I decree and declare the spirit of wisdom. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Take that fire right now. Wisdom. Extraordinary wisdom. Wisdom in ministry. Wisdom in business. Wisdom for finances. In the name of Jesus, receive an impartation of wisdom. You will command mighty works mighty results you will build systems you will build structures you will build men by wisdom in the name of jesus christ number two the bible says blessed is the man that god causes to approach him there is a grace for encounters you don't just see because you want to see you don't just hear because you want to hear there is an increasing by the mercy of god that draws men to the inner chambers of the spirit where your eyes are open to see things things that can rewrite your destiny and the destinies of others perhaps this may not be for everyone but i pray that at the blast of the trumpet let that unction some of you will be lifted to realms virgin dimensions in the spirit encounters with angels encounters with the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ receive of that spirit now help them please encounters in the night time encounters in the day encounters when you are on your bed god will show you the future he will show you things to come he will show you secrets secrets of dark places he will show you where treasures are of secret places in the name of jesus christ Sing hallelujah to the Lord. Sing hallelujah to the Lord. hallelujah I want to release upon you the grace for speed <laughs> yes sir a man's life can experience acceleration by the Spirit of God that the things that men are looking for God can bring it to you I pray for someone hungry and and thirsty to receive in the name that is above all names I pray for you right now at the blast of this trumpet let that grace 
some of you by by november you will look at your life and it will be as if you are in 2027 because the lord would have accelerated your destiny i am not motivating you i am telling you what the grace does in the name of jesus be willing to receive yes sir receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed receive the grace for speed speed in ministry speed in business speed in your destiny in the name of jesus christ 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 no more delay no more stagnation no more delay no more stagnation no more delay no more retrogression go forward go forward supernaturally in the name of jesus hallelujah in the name of jesus my god there's such an anointing here when god wants to help a man there are three ways that god helps that man number one he introduces you to his mercy number two he introduces you to the holy spirit number three he introduces you to the gift of man this is what you want to receive now when god causes men anointed by him to come to your life what song will you sing when he comes is turning things Can you sing it one more time before I prophesy for your life? turning things around. the other part we will shout hallelujah we will shout praise the lord we will dance in the spirit and rejoice from sunrise to sunset we'll shout praise the lord at the sound of the When we share the grace, there's going to be 10 minutes of uncensored praise in this place. 
uncensored praise in this place hallelujah if you can jump to the roof and come down and land well safe journey are we together we're still receiving this grace called favor this grace called favor yes sir this grace it is the name of a grace favor it's not what happens to you it's what you carry that can make certain things happen by the mercies of god i know what it means to be favored of god you can become a living expression of the favor of god luke 252 and jesus grew increase in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men exodus 3 21 and i will give these people favor in the sight of the egyptians it shall come to pass that as ye go ye shall not go empty ye shall not go empty i pray for you by the mercies of the god of heaven out of the abundance of that which his majesty has given I pray for you, Sound of Revival UK 2024, receive this grace called favor. Receive this grace called favor. Receive this grace called favor. Let it speak in your destiny. May men arise to help you. Favor, showing you unusual kindness. Favor granted you unusual access in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah when the favor of God comes upon your life your life becomes an unending wonder you will cry and laugh and cry and laugh and cry and laugh and wonder what to do with yourself favor the number one reason people go forward is favor. Are we together? The last impartation for tonight and we're done. The power to prosper. You know what the power to prosper is? The power to prosper is beyond finances. You've heard me say it. It is true. The power to prosper is not about money. If you zoom your understanding of the power to prosper to just mean the power that makes you wealthy, then you did not receive much. The power to prosper is called the grace for advancement. That is the grace that causes people to move forward regardless the obstacles. Are we together? Finances is just an expression of it. There are many people who have money without the power to prosper. The power to prosper demands that you do not fail. It insists that you do not fail. It turns things around, quarter to shame, until you win. It's called the power to prosper. I pray for you in the name that is above all names. That grace that keeps moving men from glory to glory. That keeps moving men like the brightness of the sun more and more. Until the perfect day by the mercies of God. I pray that grace rests upon you now. That grace rests upon you now. That grace rests upon you now. I decree and declare every door that has hitherto closed over your destiny. You can hear me in the name that is above all names. We command those doors open now. We command those doors open now. Everything you once held that you've now lost, may it return back to your hands. May it return back to your life. May it return back to your destiny. Taken away by demonic manipulations, let it return back by mercy. Relationships return back. Access to graces return back. Your passion for the things of God returns back. In the name of Jesus. Every dead or dying prayer life, dead or dying prayer altar, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare it jacks back to life now. 
it jacks back to life now it jacks back to life now it jacks back to life now I pray for your passion for the Word of God The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. This book of the law is able to make men wise and to lift them, to bring good success. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. Passion for the word like never before. For the study of the word, to listen to the word of God, to speak the word of God, and to obey the word of God. I say it again, to study the word of God, to listen to the word of God, to speak the word of God and to obey the word of God receive that grace in the name of Jesus my final prayer for you my final prayer for you everything that has stolen your passion for God includes your passion for the house of God includes your passion for spiritual things you just found out that you're growing more and more carnal wrong associations wrong places wrong things by the mercy of god i decree and declare whatever has quenched that light upon your candle let it be lit back right now may god give you the gift of hunger hunger for spiritual things hunger for his presence hunger for his power in jesus name i pray now we're going to shout amen seven times as a final seal to every blessing every miracle every healing every deliverance are you ready now when i count one you will shout at the seventh time we'll rejoice with the blast of the trumpet and then we'll do a bit of housekeeping and we're done are you ready now uk number one number two number three Four, five, six, are you ready now? Seven, give Jesus a shout of praise, a shout of praise, a shout of praise, a shout of praise, a shout of praise. A shout of praise for miracles, for signs, for wonders, for salvation. Thank you, Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah we're about coming to the end of sound of revival uk 2024 the end of the program not the end to your encounters not the end to your testimonies not the end to your rising not the end to your shining not the end to your becoming not the end to your receiving but we have to end here let me just communicate a vote of thanks and then we are done the bible says the lord gave the word and then he said great was the company of them that published it Ladies and gentlemen, while standing, if you can, I want you to please help me appreciate our precious workers. Please give them a big, resounding, generous God bless you. Thank you. This men and these women have labored day and night, planning for days, weeks, months, some of them have barely had the time to sleep it's been a stretch all through 
thank you so much dear walkers may the lord bless you i love you with all my heart you will keep going from glory to glory in the name of jesus christ hallelujah second i want you to please help me honor every servant of the lord jesus christ here <laughs> hallelujah every man of god every woman of god thank you thank you reverend akila thank you pastor pete for the ministers the leaders that came from abuja can we give them a big god bless you The leaders who came from the U.S., who came from Canada, can we give them a big God bless you. Hallelujah. The Central Planning Committee for the Sound of Revival UK, can we give them a big God bless you. They have labored tirelessly. Thank you. Hallelujah. Can we give Pastor Nat, his wife, his team, a resounding God bless you. Thank you, Pastor Nat. Thank you. It's lovely serving Jesus with you. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, I want you to give yourself. You didn't even allow me to finish. Yourself. A resounding round of applause to have witnessed Sound of Revival 2024. Hallelujah. Is it all right? if we give our online family a big round of applause koinonia global thank you all across the globe thank you for following in the name of jesus christ hallelujah let me encourage you one last time make sure you connect to all the social media platforms listen to the teachings they are for your edification uh, any and all updates on Koinonia UK will be communicated appropriately. But it's important for us to know that God is in the business of building himself a great army, even within this territory. And we want to thank the management of this facility. Let's give them a big God bless you. The management of this facility, we thank them for their cooperation so far. The law enforcement agents that were sent to work in partnership with our security team thank you so very much all other outsourced services we thank you for giving your very best to jesus hallelujah and to jesus the king of kings to jesus the lord of lords to jesus the healer to jesus the lifter to Jesus, the restorer, to Jesus, the helper, to Jesus, the Savior, the King, the Lord. Hallelujah. You'll be celebrating Jesus shortly and many of you returning back to your homes, returning to your various stations. Some have come outside of the United Kingdom. I want to particularly thank you that you're outside of the United Kingdom. You came in from outside of the United Kingdom. Thank you. Make sure that you pay attention for when our next meeting will be anywhere across the globe. Someone is waving their flags. Do you mean your nation? Okay, so we see the flags. We see the flags. France. I see a lot of African nations. Someone has a map of the whole world. <laughs> That's the one I believe in. Hallelujah. Listen, just, just, just to work on your mind for one moment, you have no idea we have such demand across the globe, even across Europe here, and um, God is granting us grace. We walk as directed, but yours is to keep praying keep praying and listen for when we'll be hosting the sound of revival anywhere else any city else or any other koinonia meeting make sure you commit yourself to participate but for now make sure that you listen the teachings are for your edification the conference has brought us together and helped us to understand god it's positioned us for a new season 
but it does not stop there feed your spirit keep growing practice love are we together don't hate on people love jesus love your neighbors love yourself are we together if you miss out on any one of these three you're not doing well love jesus ultimately then love your neighbors anyone around you who is my neighbor read your bible and then love yourself it's important to love yourself there is only one you love yourself hallelujah uk leads thank you for receiving us thank you for your presence thank you for cooperating with us thank you for registering thank you for doing all that you have done all those who have given all those who have prayed all those who have invited people the lord bless you in the name of jesus christ i'm going to pray one last prayer and when i do that i will clear the stage for pastor nat and all those who want to celebrate the good hand of god it's going to be about five ten minutes of rejoicing let the devil go mad for what god has done in your life in the name of jesus some of you will be dancing here the way it will be when you receive your testimonies some of you will be dancing here the way it will be when you receive your children hallelujah lift your hands we lift our hands to the great i am who was the new ways and is to come i lift my hands to the great i am who can compare with you one more time we lift our hands to the great i am who was and who is and I just forgot we did not do one thing we usually do turn on your phone lights I don't know how I got into this thing but I think that should be from daddy Joe my god look how beautiful this is come on everybody your phone lights fill this land with your father's glory play spirit place set our hearts on fire flow river flow flood the nations with grace and mercy set forth your word lord and let there be light one more time sing shine jesus shine fill this land with your father's glory blaze spirit blaze set our hearts on fire phones lifted may your life be this beautiful Amen. may your light shine this bright Amen. may the church of the Lord Jesus Christ even the body of Christ shine together this bright Amen. you see that we are better together Amen. we bring our individual lights and when we agree we shine it and it spells Jesus bright enough to drive any darkness I'm praying for you 
that everything that represents darkness in your life let it live now and live forever in jesus mighty name we pray amen and amen we are going to share the grace please stand hold the hands of someone Okay, just one information, it's very important. We are going to be having our first Sunday service in UK. Hallelujah. And uh, I need to make that announcement. Okay, beautiful. We have it projected, so that's it there. Um, I don't know how many people, it's, it's a hall that takes only about 2,005 or 3,000 people. Um, I'm not sure there are any links for registration. Is full, eh? What did you say? Oh, it's filled up. Okay, follow online. Follow online. Follow online. Follow online. Follow online. Don't tempt me. Jesus, yeah. Hey, you have come in the game. Jesus, yeah. In your special way. What was impossible? Hold hands together as one big family. Let's share the grace in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Rest and abide now and forever. Amen. Surely, all the days of our lives, as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. I love you and God bless you. Please walk up to three or ten people and tell them congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for watching Revival Time Hub. But be ye doers of the word, and not hearers only, deceiving your own selves. For if any be a hearer of the word, and not a doer, he is like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass, for he beholdeth himself, and goeth his way, and straightway forgetteth what manner of man he was.